is up? Welcome back to another video. We are here in Las Vegas for the Mint for 100. We have the race limo here. We are unloading and we are getting ready for the parade that goes down the Las Vegas Boulevard Strip. I think this is one of the only events that the city allows us to cruise down the strip. So we'll unload. There's a bunch of other vehicles, trophy trucks, bugs, everything that will be going down the strip. And it's just a good time. So let's just get right into it and have a good time. Awesome. Yeah, awesome and fancy. Awesome and awesome and fancy. Oh, pinky out! I don't know what's going on, but we did it. <laughs> T-shirts and shorts. There you go. I should have worn my stars. All right, so it is day two here. We enjoyed Fremont Street Dinner Champions. It went out and it was great. Um, dinner Champions is always a fun experience. Matt puts on a great dinner for all the sponsors, the drivers, and it's a really, really cool dinner to hang out with everybody. So we're here unloading the race limo to have it teched. And once it's teched, past tech, we're gonna be dropping off the limo at Vendor Row in one of the booths, either Vision or Motul, someone out there, and then we're gonna be doing an autograph signing, apparently. The 
This is so rad. <laughs> Let's go, 
Would you like me to pop the trunk just to see if we, there's no oil spewing? Let's let's do that. Okay. I mean the oil light was on because the car was off. Okay, let so me just let's, let's, let's go check. Yeah. Let's just look. It's it's our, we lost our front. Our front drive line. Holy sh Alright. It's gone. It's gone. So this is a two-wheel, two-wheel pill, baby. That's right there. Ooh. We're still good. But we don't got four wheels. So we gotta make it, we gotta make it last. Yeah. Alright, that's what that was. That was that noise. Alright, let's, let's go run this race now. Let's go, uh, let's go finish this up. Alright. Uh, drive uh, shaft off. Oh, front, there's front, still uh, a piece on it? There's still a piece, that's the vibration. Uh, is there the yolk from the pumpkin on it too? Still? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. What was wrong with that one? Oh, okay. So this way you can save it. We'll save it. Got it. Thank you. So about five miles in, instead of a cracked radiator, we Lost the drive shaft. Yeah, so the drive shaft. Go! Uh, uh, I thought we were done. Uh, I mean, it shut the car off, but I see oil light, I see everything. Yeah. And I, uh, I panicked. But and it was, we were on the dry lake bed, it was just everything vibrating, vibrating, and then a big bang! And I thought, like, uh, we blew the engine, to be honest. Yeah, it, it sounded bad. It felt bad. Not, it did not feel good, but. Um, Started back up, so that was uh, that was step one. And now we're kind of stuck at about anything over 30 miles an hour. It, yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> so we lost our front drive shaft. They're trimming it up now, and we're gonna stick to two wheel drive the rest yeah. of the race. Two and through, man. That's what yeah, we got. Yeah, there you go. We got it. Uphill is treacherous, so 
Hopefully that fixes it. And uh, we're gonna try to bring a bunch of transmission fluid with us. What do you think so far? It's good. It's really hard to not honk the horn and scare all them to death, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I wanted to do it. I had to sit on my hands not to do it. <laughs> Yeah. Got one other option. Let's try this. Hey, we have reverse. Oh you want to push in there and then try to go in reverse? I can't. Oh. Neither good this time. Whoops. Well, we made it to mile marker 63-64. She's not happy. The whole front axle snapped. We were trying to keep momentum through the whoops and stuff because our transmission's busted. Now we broke our front axle. <laughs> So, officially broke down. It's been about two hours. We're walking back to the pits to uh, make the most of tonight. What else did we do? Uh, the recovery was six hours away, and it was six miles back to the pit, which we figure, worst case, is two hours. Yeah, I didn't want to sit around and do nothing. No, we had a great, uh, great rescue uh, person, Cynthia. Cynthia's she, amazing, she thank was you. Rad. She, um, yeah, <laughs> she hooked us up, getting us as, as, as far as we could go where, where we were stuck. Now it's just a hike back. Yeah, if anything, now with last year and this year, we're getting the full Mint 400 off-road experience. So we're not mad. We expected to maybe not finish and have to deal with this. It's just is like, all right, we're dealing with it now. So we're here. It is what it is. We're walking back in the desert, but cool. I'm going to just go get some food now. This is going to be great. Oh no, 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 this is, this is, this is, this is uh, that might be for her, this is for me. Oh. This is amazing. Woo! She held it. It was two to four, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. We came up, we got up to the top of the boat, came around, came down, and said, oh, that can. But very bumpy. <laughs> very bumpy like that, and like, well, if I don't do the pitch, we're done. Because we had stopped once, and we didn't get going, I put it in reverse. the last one to say we're done. I wanted to be like, hey, maybe here. She's like, we're done. At the end of the day, we're done. what do you think? We didn't finish the Mint 400, unfortunately. Well, we, we made it to the finish line. Yeah. All of us were there. Yeah, we were all there as a team. We yeah. got there as a team. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. In a different limo. We used a subsequent yeah. limo. A subsequent limo. <laughs> a subsequent limo. <laughs> So we snapped our axle in half, like literally in half. Our transmission was done. We unfortunately did not finish, but I'm happy to be here to compete again in this race. It's such an amazing race. And yeah, the limo didn't make it around again, but hopefully next year it will. Desert racing's fun. All right, so it's the official end of the race. You all know we broke down. You all know we didn't finish, but you know what it's been it's been great we watched the award ceremony and after talking to a few other racers 
it was a definitely a more difficult course than it was the last couple of years. It's just a lot more choppy. So the fact that, you know, we didn't finish, there are about 20 other cars ahead of us that were broken down. So it kind of gives you a little bit of perspective of just on Friday, how many people didn't finish. And when we say cars, again, you're dealing with race, purpose built race cars. We're doing something that shouldn't be done in a car that definitely shouldn't be out there. That's for um, sure. It definitely gives the appreciation that we finished last year. We still have the, <laughs> we still have an empty trailer. So we're hanging out in the parking lot. I think we're here for at least another day. It's Sunday. It's been out there since Friday. Yeah, it's um, still in the desert. Yeah, we don't have our car back. No. And uh, we also know that the Mint 400 definitely not gonna let that fly. So, uh, you know, it's conservation and everything else. They'll pull it, they got it off the course. They'll get it back to us. Um, we're just kind of in a holding pattern, a waiting period. The limo though, it did everything it it should have and thank you to all the sponsors it was really really cool and i don't think anybody's nobody came out of this in a in a like oh that limo was stupid or this was a bad idea it just that's racing well i was just gonna say like uh like we came back for round two for the mint and people were just so stoked to see us back they are rooting for us like the fact that we can bring something that really shouldn't be out here and finish and perform with it really pr goes to show that you can kind of do anything you set your mind to no matter what anybody else says definitely something that shouldn't work two weeks ago we weren't racing and we're out here <laughs> broken on the course but we went we raced we gave her hell we gave everything we had so uh we'll be back bigger and better next year yeah, Cheers. we'll be back for another off-road race and just thank you all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Wow! So, did Killian reach out to you at all? Not since I talked to him in the, the VIP place. Okay. So, I've got a loader set up for 8 o'clock in the morning that's going to be dedicated to working on getting it out of there. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I was supposed to be headed out of town tomorrow, but I'm going to come back and help uh, rig it and do what I can to help get it out of there with the loader guy. We're going to go up here to the intersection. Okay. And then um, we'll leave your guys' uh, truck and trailer there. You guys can kind of look at the next section that we're looking at and see if we've got enough room to make the turn. Okay. Well, if even ripped off the bump stop. If I couldn't get them. You didn't have, you didn't have, you didn't have pull-up coil over on this, right? No. Okay, I thought, I couldn't remember. They didn't leave any nuts, huh? No nuts. I've, I've been looking. We can do another one for me. Are they same as mine? No. Because what year is, what year is the... It's a 73 uh, or 74 Yeah, so Chevy. that's going to be 9 sixteenths by 12 or something like that. Ours is metric. Surprised you got it on that thing. Yeah, it was enough loader and get it. It's insane. the train horns. Took our wheels and tires, our seats, everything, guys. <laughs> 